Loon Kane here, and this is Glide. Harness the power of gravity in this relaxed, minimalist physics puzzle game. Touch the screen anywhere, or use the keyboard to enable gravity, and be pulled towards nearby orbs. With eight tough stages to play through, Glide will always provide a new challenge. Eight stages doesn't sound like much, but if we look down here, over 60 full levels. But anyway, it's a dollar on itch.io. Go buy it if this is what you want. It's also on Google Play, which, from the looks of it, this will be more interested on... Android than it will be on the desktop. Anyway, see you there. And here we are. It certainly is relaxing music and very simple. Let's go on and get in the game. All right, level one. Press space or touch anywhere. So it looks like, all right, so these blue orb things are what have gravity. And it says closest only, so only the closest one is doing stuff. So I guess I could try and, okay. I could definitely see this being good times on Android. Not so sure that I'd really... Hmm. And... Pull it towards me. That didn't work. You didn't make it. What the fuck do these symbols mean? There's a bunch of dots. And an arrow. This, These mean nothing, really. This kind of looks like the intro, which it's probably the menu, and this is probably going back, but... Come on. Do we really need to divulge into symbols? So, I guess let it go all the way over there and pull it back in. Yep. Pretty simple game. Not much going on. New stage. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can unlock stage two. Angles. Ooh. Well, this shouldn't be too hard. Okay, as I miss. But anyway, keep playing it for a bit, because eh, what else do I have to do? And... Goal, I guess. So, slingshot? No! It is interesting. In a weird, relaxing kind of way. So, what am I how am I supposed to slingshot this? Like this? Because if I. Oh, oh. No, that's not going to do it. I don't even know why I'm doing this game. Oh, I guess because it looks really good. That's why I want to... Uh, people should know when there's a cool-looking game around. There we go, maybe. And this game looks really good. It's... Pretty. It sounds good. I don't think that works. And it works really well. But like I said, I'm not sure I'd really want to use it. Well, this isn't going to work, is it? Or is it slowly moving over? I don't think I'd really want to play this game on the desktop for a long period of time. There we go. We can move it a little bit, but it doesn't matter because I crashed. But yeah, being able to play it on the road? That sounds great. Of course I'd want to do that. But sitting here on my laptop just seems a little lame. But oddly enough, I'm actually enjoying it, even though it's on the desktop. Usually, so oh god. Usually something like this I would just be immediately bored with, but it's more, it's more relaxing like Euphoria, I guess. It feels not terrible to play. Maybe playing in windowed mode while listening to some podcasts. That might be pretty cool. Well, clearly I'm not very good at this, so we're probably going to be here for a while. Because precision is not my... Precision is not what I'm here for. Wait, did I get it? Ah. Oh. Wait, that other one lit up. Could I have pulled it from that far away? Oh, I think I can. Well, that's interesting. That is certainly interesting. So let's try and just launch this thing over here. Oh, damn it. I wasn't expecting that. So don't just blindly hold the key down thinking it's going to stay because there's a very good chance it's not going to work that way. So let's try and get less force on this. No, that was stupid. I think I've only gotten as far as I have so far in pure dumb luck. 
I mean, just shoot that over there a bit and grab it, and that automatically grabs into the next one. That looks like it's too fast. Yep, too fast. So I guess throw it, and then slow it down. Pull it around. Ah, this one might work. Oh, and I got it. Alright, oh, I can press space to continue, so that's... That's good. Well, how is that supposed to be hard? I, I don't understand. Hmm. That didn't work. Okay, yeah, I can use space to restart. I knew I could use space to do the new level, but I wasn't quite too sure. Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't quite too sure if I'd be able to use it to do a restart. Thankfully, I am. That makes it easy. Although, there I go and press space, and... Oh. So, I guess there's eight stages of eight. Well, this is it begins. Oh, right. There's little options here. Music, sound, quit, I guess. Special thanks to Naomi Ta... Yeah, Jack Mar, Andrew Carlotti. Oh, wow. There's all sorts of people with fun last names. Design and testing. Kevin McLeod. Okay. So, freebie music, but still good choice. So this is interesting. Yeah, or we can do disable background. So yeah, people with color problems, no problem here. Set it up to however it works. Well, let's get through a couple of dangers. What am I avoiding? Am I avoiding that thing? No, that's what I thought. Okay, so they decide to level two. They add it, add a little bit more. Hey, we want some. We want some. Ah, damn it. We want to add some obstacles. Nothing wrong with obstacles. Ah, that didn't work. I'm just going to let it... Actually, you know what? I might be able to slingshot around. Alright, there we go. If I can get it. Alright, good. Anyway. One more level. This one's loop. Interesting. So, the hazards are also... Damn it. I'm also able to... Collect with. Now... I guess the only real complaint I have about this game is if I hold the spacebar down, it'll automatically select the next thing if I get... Try and say that in a way that makes sense. If I hold the space... Damn it. That that would that'd be fine. I let go of the space bar. And then it grabbed the other one. But no, if I just hold on to the space bar, why does it automatically grab something when I come close to it? I don't really like that. But, you know, it's I guess it could be part of the challenge. Oh, right, I forgot I can latch onto those things. And we got it. Anyway, that's it for Glide. Aptly named. It looks really good. I Anybody who likes these relaxing puzzle games, like, Euphoria is the only comparison I can come to to what it feels like to me. But if you like this type of game, by all means, go buy it. It seems to be great. Well, anyway, that's it for this video, because you don't need anything else. Ta!